Hello, oh, welcome to my next instalment of my Aston Villa career series. We are back again after a pretty disappointing second episode. Uh, we started off well with a win against Bournemouth. Won easily with uh, debut goals from Gusted and Austin. Uh, we moved on to United then where we uh, got beat 2-0. But we did defend extremely well after we conceded two but it was already too late then and then we went on to Crystal Palace where we undeservedly lost 1-0 I thought we did well enough to win but we're now we're in the Capital One Cup and we're against Cambridge and we have a penalty after that disgusting elbow to the face that was ridiculous don't know how he thought he was going to get away with that Jordan Ayew is going to score his first goal of the season and there you go from the spot Obviously, I changed the team up a little bit here, but well, pretty much all of it um, for the cup. I've got a lot of players who I want to try out because uh, I think they're probably good enough to get into the team. Uh, oh, and a good goal there by Nick Powell, who's on loan from United. Um, I got him on loan because he's only got 12 months less on his contract, so I thought if we uh, got him in, just sort of see how he does and we can sign him at the end of the season if needed and Cambridge nearly got a goal and smack, smacked it off the top of the bar but here they go and they get one back and bring it back to 2-1 we went from cruising in this game to uh, coming down to 2-1 but still in the first half still plenty of time Gabby Abonlahor nearly gets one Still going, and Jordan Ayu, brilliant shot from him. He's had something quite good this game, and he's got a uh, he's had very limited time so far this season, especially with Austin coming in and uh, Rudy Gestad being my uh, second choice striker. But that could change if he continues to play like he does today. There you go, Ayu with another excellent shot, and a dammer trying to smack one in doing extremely well in this game as you would expect against Cambridge could have had a couple more but as long as we win and get through to the next round that's going to be fine so continue to pile the pressure on a bad shot by Gabby there so yeah uh, obviously I want your comments on uh, what you think of the series uh, just anything really there you go Gabby's got one if you think Ayu deserves to start, uh, obviously Tyler Walker is someone I've got a bought from Nottingham Forest, who's quite a decent player. I think he's got a lot of potential. Um, so yeah, if you think there's someone, I can't believe he didn't score there as well. Um, if you think there's someone that deserves to play in the first team for a, a league match. Let me know if you think I should try different formation, different team. Would love your comments. And here we've got On to Sunderland now. There's the team back to normal. Uh, Austin is dead up front. Tout behind. Uh, Gill and Sinclair. I've just gone for pure speed on the outside. Them two can whip past anyone. So we start off quite badly in this game Sunderland piled the pressure on just it just seemed to be shot after shot we just couldn't do anything um, but we did get a chance and they put it in their own goal very nicely there Sinclair taking the uh, the honours we continue to try and put pressure on them Vitaut hits very two. Vitaut, what have I just said? Very two. Off the post. Sanchez seems to have earned his place there, I think. Uh, him and Westwood seem to pair quite well. There we go. After an early onslaught from Sunderland, we're bringing it back. Half time, still 1 0 up. Thanks to that on goal. 
Could really do with a win here after two losses in a row. We don't want to start slumping down the bottom end of the table, but that's uh, where we expect to be at the end of the season, really. Um, I'm not expecting to be in the UEFA or Europa League. There you go, another goal. A brilliant header by Charlie Austin. Hopefully he can start repaying that £6 million that we paid for him. He is a cracking striker though. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, summer, January, sorry. It'll be coming up fast. Uh, so if you've got anyone I should be scouting, anyone you think might fit in the team well, or someone you think I should get rid of, I'd love to hear your comments. Um, anything really, anything you want to say is welcome below as we continue to pile the pressure on here Sunderland and Charlie Austin gets his second and we are now 3-0 up and it looks like we're going to be taking the three points as the whole team charges to the sideline to celebrate it's been a, a good easy game Sunderland started well they did have a few shots but we come back and just routed them now Nick Powell's coming on. Uh, just trying to get as much game time out of him, just to get a, a look at, see if he can fit into our squad for next season, or even this season if he's good enough. Um, but we're very two there, and I've also I started playing. Who was it? Later on, I start playing someone else in that position. I can't remember who it is now. He's got on the score sheet, hasn't he? Um, now he's getting off the pitch. But yeah, so there's, there's every position has uh, competition, which is good. Makes the whole team stronger. As you see, we finished the game 3 0, taking three points home with us. And we are about to sell Enzogbia for 2 million to Newcastle. He has um, no place in my team, he was never going to get in, um, so he had to call just to get a bit of cash, because obviously I'm going to be spending big bucks in January when I can try and buy uh, Bakkerly from PSV, I think it is. Obviously I tried to him during the uh, summer, but he'd only just moved there, but I'm going to retry in January, because he is one that I want to get. And he'll be playing on the wings. Leicester are a big challenge. They're a solid team. And uh, it could be a tough match. But we've, we've, been well, we've done well at defending, really, I think, so far. Oh, so close there. Nick Powell. Bit upset they didn't try passing it back. Into the second half. It's still nil-nil. There we go, Austin attacking the ball. It's what you want from your strikers. First line of defence, plays it into the middle. And Jordan Ayu has got another goal. And maybe he can start breaking into the first team now and become a starter. Um, obviously, he's probably the best rated striker, but I just not. I don't think he's done enough for me. Yet, and there you go, back to 1-1, one, one. it's one of the typical goals that I seem to concede. They get the ball in the box, turn and smash it into the top corner. Could they get it off the post and he skied it, we were so close not to go 2-1 down there. They just keep piling the pressure and I don't think we had a second goal in us, so they got one. Um, but we kept attacking right to the last minute very two and I thought he had put that in I couldn't believe it when it went wide the last kick of the game as well I really thought we'd won it but anyway that is it thank you very much for watching this it's been a great episode we've had a win we've had a win and we've had a draw so we picked up seven points from this um, so I'm sure we can kick off seven points isn't well no actually we've picked four, four points sorry the other one was a cup game so four points and into the next round of the cup hoping for a cup run this year 
Uh, but thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my other series, um, which is Madden on um, Madden NFL 16 with the Denver Broncos. And obviously I've got a Blackburn Rovers career series. Um, so don't forget to subscribe as well. So thanks very much for watching and goodbye.